Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my dahlias and how I take care of them and all the stuff that we do to make them look good. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you find it useful. So as I have talked about my dahlia, um, you probably know by now if you are my regular subscriber that I have several boxes of dahlias. I have this one which is my oldest dahlia and the box is about 12 feet by maybe um, 5 feet, 6 feet. Um, so it, it is a substantial box and the reason that we put my dahlias in boxes um, is because we have problems with gophers and so this is one of the solutions that we have come up with. We put wires under these um, soil that is uh, here so that the gophers can not come up and munch on them. So I have quite a few uh, dahlias. Um, this box here probably has maybe um, seven different types of dahlias and uh, it just varies you know it's your preference how many you put in the box um, yeah they do get crowded so um, I change my dahlias quite often you know like if I don't want a particular dahlia in a box anymore then I remove it and then put something else in it this cafe au lait I'm just staring at it and looking at it and how admiring how beautiful it is so this cafe au lait is one of my favorites so what I'm going to do this year because I want um, some more of this type of dahlia um, this is the first year official year actually I had it last year but it was still very small and it bloomed maybe a couple of times um, so this is its a first official year and what I'm going to do this year is probably, probably dig it up and divide it so I have several of them um, so my dahlias stay in the box all year. I do not dig up my dahlias um, only because we do not have any freezing temperature or we do have a few freezing temperature here but they don't really freeze. Um, the box kind of acts as a um, um, insulation for them so I really don't worry about them freezing. They do very well. Um, during the winter here we have pretty mild winter so I don't really worry about them freezing so I do leave my dahlias in the ground now if I notice that my dahlias are kind of looking peaked you know the next year they're not blooming as much then I dig those up and I divide them and replant them but so far um, I haven't done that much digging on my dahlia I know that some people do dig them. Um, this is my other uh, box right here. And I think I have maybe five or six um, dahlia variety in here. So um, it is the same size as the um, older dahlia box that I have. Um, the other question that I receive is, my dahlias look healthy. What do you do with them? How, how do you fertilize them? Now, my dahlias over here, um, I don't fertilize them as much. I think I only fertilize them once this season, um, towards the beginning. But other than that, I do not fertilize them. I do water them regularly at least twice a week. And um, we're going to walk over here. This is uh, dahlia box number three. And look at look at there's a bee in there, a bumblebee resting, and this is one of my darker dahlias over here. So what do I do to make the dahlias look healthy? Well, first of all, you start with a really healthy soil. So um, every year we put new soil, or we add new soil into our dahlia box, and we make. I'm gonna go walk over here to one of my newest dahlia box we make our own compost and I'm going to show you the compost pile that we have so we put you know the soil that we make and uh, kind of percolate throughout the year we add them in the spring 
before the dahlias come up. So this is one of my favorite box right now because it's got so many interesting blooms. This is a, um, it looks like cafe au lait, but it, it is a cross uh, between cafe au lait and something else. This is a labyrinth. It's beautiful. And then I have a um, hot rod right here and a purple rose, purple dahlia that I don't really have um, a name for, but somebody had said that uh, they recognized this dahlia. This is firefighter because of the red in this area over here. So going back to the uh, soil, the compost that we add into these dahlia boxes, uh, what makes them healthy, I believe, is the soil. And so I'm going to walk over here and show you one of our compost pile that we use to put in the boxes because you do need to replenish, you know, all the nutrients in there every year um, because, you know, the plants use them up. So this is one of our compost pile. Um, this is about maybe three feet tall and we haven't used all of our compost this year. So all it is is um, you could see some twigs and leaves and we put like um, food scraps in here and then we add some soil in it and then uh, you know it you know it grows bacteria heats up and eats up all of those um, food scraps that we put you can see all the twigs and the leaves and the yard waste and then we just kind of we do need to turn we turn this my husband does he uh, turns the compost occasionally to kind of just you know let them uh, percolate better so this is a uh, this is probably our secret to having our dahlia look good is we make our own compost and you know you can make your own there are sites and uh, videos that you can watch on how to make compost but you know this is our kind of like the basis basic care uh, of any plant you want some healthy soil to begin with so I don't really um, fertilize them that much because they already have all that nutrients from the compost so um, let me go back over here and show you some more of the beautiful dahlias that I have and I'm truly, truly enjoying. So Rebecca Lynn is, has done very well this year and it has bloomed so much. Now the other questions I get is where do I get my dahlias? I get my dahlias mostly from Swan Island dahlias and I'm going to put a link in the information uh, below um, so that you can visit their site and uh, about now is the time to order these dahlias so most of them had come from Swan Island dahlia now this cafe au lait I think I got this one from our local nursery so I do get you know other dahlias from other sources uh, other than Swan Island Dahlia. This one is from San Swan Island Dahlia right here. This one from Swan Island Dahlias. And most of the Dahlia that's in this box over here are from Swan Island Dahlia. Now this one right here, I think I just got this from like um, one of our nursery nearby. And then my newest box over here that I just love, love, love. Most of this came from Swan Island Dahlia, like this one right here. I didn't even order this one and I, I know I ordered a different type of Dahlia and this is what I received. Maybe I ordered it, I don't know, but you know, I've used a lot of this Dahlia as a cut flower, so I'm not going to complain. I enjoy it. This one came from Swan Island Dahlia, these ones too, that one, those, and this one right here. So that's where I get most of my dahlias. And I do try to order new ones each year. So this year I'm going to order some new ones and 
I usually make a, a video on which ones that I choose. But um, so they let you order your dahlias during, um, you know, about now, fall, almost fall. And then uh, they ship them in the springtime. So you just place your order and then they send it to you when um, it's about uh, time to plant them. So that's pretty much all the tips that I can give you on my dahlia and the information that I can think of. Um, if you think of any other questions, I'll put them in the uh, comments below and I'll try to answer them if I have any answer. I hope that this video is useful uh, to you. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.